Hi everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor, and today we got a shave with something new. Got the uh, Parasso Green today. Uh, once again, it's one of those things where something was in the Amazon uh, page or shopping cart and something got bought and it showed up. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, my wife. And we're going to be using my Black Beauty. This is the 86 one, the little more beat up version. That's seen a lot of time around the world. And then uh, this Parasso, it has, can you sort of have that, that green, I don't know if it's like a green tea or it's got a more vegetable scent to it. But we'll just see how it smells when we get into it. We're going to be using Gillette Wilkerson Blades today with the uh, Black Beauty. So we got those together. And we'll be following up with a little bit of Panag Clubman Vanilla. Yeah, a little something different. Uh, has a little nice scent to it. And I was just trying to find something that would go with this Parasso for the scent. I thought about using the, the Barbasol. It's like... The Barbasol might go with it. It's like, I was like throwing it up in the air. It's like, ah, I'm going to go with the uh, Club, uh, Panud Clubman with that. So, all right, let's just get on, get in, get going. I already have the, uh, a little more moisture, it's already drying out. Uh, the uh, Parasso uh, pre shave stuff on there already. This has, you can smell, it's like maybe, it could be a green tea scent to it. It does have that uh, vegetable smell, in my opinion. All right. It's like I already have my, my, my lather bowl right here. I do have a large amount of, of just like big old blobs of it in there. Stuff lathers up really quickly and really nice. All right, we have this on setting four, which is my preferred setting when I'm shaving with it. any of my adjustables. It seems to work really good. And this is a second use of this laid in here. You can hear that blade working. It glides over nice and smooth. Well, I don't have much to do today other than making a video with this. And I have my uh, commission I'm working on, the current project. Now that is everything that's in my agenda for my day. Other than getting out and enjoying the day. It's supposed to get up to about 50 degrees today, 45, 50. Not a bad day. A little bit of wind out there. Far cry from the last couple days when we've had in, in 30s. Hmm. bit of stinging right here. I don't know if that's because the soap is, you know, maybe then I'm not really, f I know there's menthol there, but it doesn't seem to be much different from the pre-shave stuff.
All right, let's go across the green. What's everybody up to this week? Do they have any plans? I know we got Halloween coming up. Friday night's going to be our, uh, what do you call it, beggar's night here in Des Moines. And we'll uh, have everybody coming to the door. Not very many. If we get 10 kit families showing up, that's a lot. Been some years we never even got any. It's kind of interesting when it comes to that. You'd think you get a lot more kids, but it seems to be dying out for some reason. So, next to our neighbors, we're all getting together. We're going to be sitting out to help my neighbor build his patio. Lay all the brick, you know, the brick and everything out. And, and he bought himself a little uh, fire pit. One of those mobile fire pits to set out. So we're going to just sit out and put a collective um, candy thing out there for the kids and say, hey, this is where you can come. We'll just sit at the fire pit and enjoy the supposedly nice weather that we're supposed to have. It's supposed to be about 50, 55. Oh, that's a mess. And scrape off very much off the top of that to make my lather. And I still have a whole bunch left. I could easily go maybe one, maybe two more passes with no problem. Just what's sitting in the uh, the, the bowl. All right, so we're going to go against the green. It's slick, just like the Parasa White. And it, uh, not quite the slickness of like a Sterling when it comes to the soap. But it's good. Gets the job done. That's all that matters. These Wilkinson blades are not bad. They... Typically, I can get about three shades with them before some of the uh, uh, blades. It's like I have some uh, Dorcos. It's like one or two, one or two shades with them in their toast. They catch. They're dull. It seems like. 
I suppose if you're going with more of a aggressive razor, they work better. But these are not bad. They're probably about average like experience. Not quite quite as good as like my uh, Astras. I like the Astras. Yeah. I might say one more use out of this blade. We got them. Not bad shave, not the slickest, not the worst. It's compared to the sterling. Sterling, I think, is much better for when it comes to slickness. But I can't complain for the price when you get this is like nine dollars. I think it was in the paid for that. So that's pretty cheap for what a five ounce. I think this was five ounces. Yeah. 5.5 ounces that's a heck of a value so if you're on a budget that stuff works good all right uh, all right before we get too far typical spots I'm not feeling any other up around Just a little bit of stinging right here. Typically, I get under the nose. I always cut myself and a lot of time, but I'm not just a little bit of stinging right here. Another around the nose. Not bad. Ah, Bernard Clubbin. Yeah, good stuff. It smells really good. Especially, I like both of them, the vanilla and the uh, the regular uh, Pinot Clubbin. The other, the regular green, this one is more of a bar, more barbershop barber shop smell this is you know got a little more vanilla in it so between the two of them they're really good but uh, you know you have a large collection this of just what 
is the standard stuff that you would normally find back in the day compared to what they have today. There's so many different ones with all the different uh, manufacturers. But that's it. That would be the Barbasol Green Shave with the Black Beauty and with some Gillette Wilkinson Blades. Good shave. Hope you guys like it. We'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.